Hey guys, this is a quick manual right here. And I'm just gonna show you the basics when it comes down to this. So what you have to do is set this up. So make sure it's off right now. Then go on and put it all the way to 10. Now most of you will want 10. I recommend always 10, okay? And that's when this starts working. Obviously plug it in. For now, that's your washer time. Turn it off. But that's how that works. Right now, I haven't even plugged it in and it works because that's just the timer. It works regardless. Now for the spin time, you're gonna go here to five. And then this will just go down by itself to zero. So that's different. That's the spinner time. So obviously you want to wash before doing the spinner. The spinner is just to dry the clothing. And the process here, I'm gonna explain it really quick. What you guys wanna do is put your clothing here in this basket. So fill this up. Don't fill it up more than this because that's what this is capable of doing. Then drop your laundry in there. Once your laundry is in here, then fill it up. So they did provide you a hose for that. And technically you're supposed to put this here. Well, not actually that end. This end's supposed to go here. And there you go. And then this would go to water supply. Most of you will not do that because this is really small and it almost doesn't make sense. So most likely you're just gonna use a bucket or whatever you have, wherever you are, to put water in here because you don't need to hook that up. So how much water? Well, it's according to how much clothing you're putting in here. So you have to kind of eyeball that. Same goes with detergent. Always put less than what you think you might need because this is small. Now, from what I can tell you, for my dryer, that's also five pounds. Um, I can probably put three to four, actually, yeah, three, three to four towels max. So that would be in this two. I would maybe put three to four towels maximum because this is also five pounds to wash. So that gives you a ballpark of how much clothing you, you can actually fit here, which is actually quite a bit. And with my dryer, same thing. It's a very small dryer for five pounds, but um, you can do that. You can dry three to four towels. It does take it, its time, but it does it. Now, after you wash, okay, you put in the detergent, water, you let it do its thing, then you drain it. To drain it, all you have to do is lift this up, let it fall, and all the water will come out. That's all that's stopping the water from coming out, you putting it like this. So if this is like this, water will not come out. Once you let it loose, water will come out from here. So the first part, yes, detergent, water, you let the water go once it's done, and then you're gonna put more water in there and you're gonna rinse it. So that means just put it, I would put it through another washing cycle of 10 minutes. That's just me though. You could do five minutes, two minutes, depends how much detergent you put there. Um, some people put water in there and then take it out several times to rinse off all that detergent. So again, it does depend on you guys, but it, the more detergent you put in there, the, the messier it will get. So don't just don't put too much detergent. You don't need that much. And then comes the drying part. So you let all the water out and here it is. So this locks in and I'll show you how. So see this right here, that's gonna lock down there. So down here, you're gonna see these holes. That's gonna lock there, all the way there. So you just spin this to lock it in doesn't it's not using force you're just gonna have to lock it like so so right now if i move this it's locked see there's no space there and i can't lift this up so try to lift it up it's not gonna lift up that means it's locked so it's that easy then to unlock it just move it move it becomes unlocked lift it up so that's how you guys do it so that's for the spinner time so once you guys want to spin this you're gonna put this in there it's gonna spin rinse it out and there you go. Now you can put it on your dryer or hang it to dry, whichever. So that kind of explains the whole cycle. Yes, I will show you guys how this looks like right now, actually. So I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna show you with a little bit of clothing in there. Now, why did I buy this? I bought this for my RV. And I'm actually gonna use it in the bathtub of my RV because I have no space in my RV. So that's my reason for this. And right now, as an example, I'm gonna use this towel. So the towel is here, just to show you how it fits in there. And there we go. So this has space, I think for two, maybe three towels. 
maybe just two. But obviously once it comes down to rinsing, you're, you can only fit one in here for the complete rinse wall, the drying. Then like I mentioned before, we're just gonna fill it up with water, whichever way you guys want. So once you fill it up with water, just put some soap. Again, it depends on your load, how much water you put in. I didn't put out too much water, so it'd be very, very little soap that we put in here. Then close the lid and set the timer and hook it up. So right now I'm gonna hook it up and then set the timer. So right now I connected it and I'm just gonna put 10 minutes. Once it's done, you guys will notice it goes back to zero, it turns off by itself at that point. So here it is, with all the soap. To drain it, all we do is just let go of this side piece and you can just let it drip down and there you go. So at this point, all the water came out and what we're going to do, remember this is a flat surface though, so this is not a, a little bit above and then the water is just going down. It actually all went away and it's leveled. Um, anyways, so right now, what we're gonna do is fill it up again, then I'm gonna put it around five minutes, not 10 minutes, and just let it rinse. Then again, the same thing. So right now I would put this up. I'm gonna fill it up with water, let it do its thing for five minutes. Then again, take it out and then we're gonna actually dry it. So that's the next step. All right, so it was just done. I let all the water out again. There it is, now it's, it's soaking wet, obviously. So what we need to do is dry it. That's the next step. So it's best to place this first and then the clothing inside. So we're gonna go on, align it. Then you spin it until that clicks in. So there we go. Just press a little bit, it clicked in. Can't remove this. Then we put this in there, it's soaking wet. There we go. This would go on top of it just to help it out, which I personally don't see it that necessary. It's supposed to be straight. That's what the instructions say. Cannot be slanted on the side. Then we close this up. We set the spinner this time. For this part, this should be out, so the water just keeps coming out as it dries. Now it's done with the five minutes, so you went to zero. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna take a look at it. So we can just move this around until it comes loose, then we can take it out. Remember to take this out, and you're gonna notice that it is significantly drier at this point in time. But right now, you're done with the tutorial. That's how you guys can use this. Then you can start everything again. Just remember to take this out and put more clothing to wash. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.